Hi, Dr. Belziki, it's good to see you again. I have to tell you that your two previous cases were very successful and we received a lot of questions. Thank you for providing those, the, dent the responses to those. The dentists were very happy about that. So we have another five minute case. Let's roll with it. Okay, five minutes. 90 year old woman just before Christmas. Oh, sorry, this is in May, uh, summer of last year, snapped off the central. Uh, discussions were held as what to do. And I said, let us splint both centrals together because that way um, I can restore both teeth over the long term. And you, a single crown, single crown, implant case here, single crown here, implant case. So those two teeth were prepared. Study models. Uh, force infused to metal with the metal occlusion to be kinder to the opposing dentition. And this is good and solid cemented in. That was in May of 2019. She came back in December of 2019 and she had snapped off the cuspid. This is the single lateral crown and those are the two splinted centrals. So you can see I, she has broken some of the tooth structure away deep into the sulcus. Endo was initiated. And here I'm doing my endo. I still do everything by hand and taken to length. And then I got a coarse, um, uh, a post space just before it started to bend out about a number 80, raise the flap because she does not want to live with the space at all. Even though she's 90, very conscious about her appearance. So there is the fracture line and it approaches, it's right at the crest of bone. So now my job is to make some root or expose some root surface for connective tissue and epithelial attachment. So I've taken some bone away between the two teeth, removed the crown from the lateral, which was placed by another dentist some 20 years ago going ahead and making my provisionals using a wire post that engages the canal space. So I know that I've got these two teeth splinted together. It will last over Christmas and she won't end up swallowing it if it was just one tooth. Inserting and then closing the flaps from the lingual and she walks out the door very happy that she doesn't have to have a space over Christmas. She came back in January, removed the provisionals. Healing had taken place quite nicely. Now it's time to garner an impression for a cast post core with a marginal apron. Here you can see the impression. That's a little black number 80 plastic end dowel. And I've got all of the margins picked up quite nicely. Oh, that's even better. And now I have to reconfigure because I have redone the margins. I have to reconfigure the margins. So using the same provisionals, just fill it with some soupy acrylic, pop it back in. It picks up the newly refined margin of both teeth and that was inserted. And then she walks out again. Cast post core with a marginal apron. And the idea of this is that this all goes down to the margin and then the new crown margin will be on the core. And here are some scratch marks because I'm busy playing and refining it, playing with it and refining it. And you can see under good magnification, I've got healthy tissue as a result of just following protocols of sound periodontal surgery. Uh, inserting the cast post cork. Uh, these things come back and because there's no tissue for the lab to know where it is, you, I did have to end up playing with this a little bit uh, and just carving it and that's what I ended up with. Taking an impression, again, I have to refine the existing provisionals. Pop those in, two copings came back, solder indexing, intraorally, there's the, or there are the two splinted crowns. Again, metal occlusion to treat the opposing dentition very kindly, making sure I have good embrasure space. 
day of insertion. That's how we started and that's how we finished. 90 year old woman, didn't want implants, didn't want any more extensive dentistry and didn't want a removable partial.